All right, part two. Uh, this is the shortening part. Um, I'm using the Love Notions Rhapsody blouse. I am short torsoed, so I have to shorten, and I'm also 5'2". Uh, the Love Notions patterns are drafted for 5'5", five five, um, so I would have to shorten the patterns by one and a half inches. Um, as it is, the waist, my waistline is actually, this waistline is too far down, so I have to move it up 1.5 inches. And with this blouse, I actually wanted it to be a little bit longer, so I added 0.5 inches, but since I moved this up, I add adding 2 inches down here. So we're going to shorten here and in order um the first step again is to draw these lines that i've already done the vertical three vertical lines and the places where you're going to shorten and lengthen and or lengthen um so in this blouse we already we have the waistline and the bust line and the hem, hip line so that's a very good starting point um so i'm going to start with the waistline and i'm going to draw a line up from it to where I want it to shorten. So now I have two lines here and the easiest way to do that without, if I mean if you want to cut that's fine too, but you can also do this where you're folding it and you just fold it up words to meet those three lines and there you go. That's shortening. Now I want to true this side up here, so I'm going to add some paper, and use a French curve again to kind of smooth out that line. So we're going to do, uh, let me use a blue one. Oops. So I know I want to keep this width, so we're going to keep that there and then just smooth out that curve right here. And that's pretty much it for shortening here. Now let's say you didn't want to lengthen it, you, the hip line, you actually did want to shorten it as well. Um, we would do the same thing, we're going to draw a line, and we fold it. So as you can see, I'm losing quite a bit of detail right here um, with the hem. So I'm actually going to straighten it back down. And this is what I had to do with the big piece. So I wanted to show you what I did. And I'm going to go up from the hip line just so that I can get that detail and keep that original hem. So we'll mark this line and let's do the new line up in a different color so we can see. Alright, we'll do this one as well. So the new lines are going to be in this teal blue color. So same thing. And that is, now we have this detailed 
intact. I'm going to take this down and we can add a piece right here. Fence don't go on tape, so I'm going to tape it on the back. Right. So now we want to true up this line with this piece right here. And it can, so if I want it to be, I don't want it to be too much too drastic of a change. So I'm actually going to use my curved ruler and curve it out just a little bit. So then the new line would be right here, the, the new side seam. Be like that. And Cut this there you go it's your new Rhapsody blouse shortened